The Speedy Cut Company has been in the tapping industry for over 25 years. During this time, we have sold well over 4,000 standard and custom machines serving the stamping, die casting, fastener, and secondary operations industry. Our six models of machines cover a broad spectrum of tap sizes ranging from the smallest of triple zero to 127 threads per inch to one inch NPT in stainless steel and two NPT in die cast aluminum. Single spindle quick change tooling as well as a large variety of multiple heads are easily adaptable for increased production and multiple hole applications. All speedy cut tappers, regardless of their capacity or whether they're vertical or horizontal, function with the same concept of tapping, which is a precision controlled pitch with no push or pull or lead error. This is obtained through quick change positively loaded hardened pitch gears. The machines also have a dual clutch system to prolong tap life and avoid unnecessary scrap because of tap breakage. The components of the electrical control box are common to all models of our tappers. There are two relays, one voltage transformer, and one on-off switch with an integrated circuit breaker. There's an automatic shutoff micro switch for when the gear cover is removed, and two reversing micro switches. Located in the bottom of the box is a terminal strip for incoming and outgoing signals. The RPM of the machine is changed by moving the V-belt to different positions on the front and rear pulleys. The torque adjusting clutch is also located in the front pulley. To increase torque, the adjusting nut on top of the pulley is turned clockwise. And to decrease torque, it is turned counterclockwise. The pitch gears are put on by matching the A or B on the gear to the A and B on the machine. The bores are different but are matched for each gear so arrows and lead are virtually eliminated. The machine may be raised or lowered by loosening the two black locking lugs and cranking the raising mechanism up or down. The side clutch is adjusted to its maximum position but will still prevent a tap from breaking in a no hole situation. Setting the stroke for a through hole is accomplished by eyeballing the front of the tap passing through the bottom of the workpiece and adjusting the depth control dog. Before proceeding with your production run, it is always wise to fully gauge the part, if possible, from both ends of the hole. Notice as we tap, the workpiece self-centers and does not rip. We rest the back end of the aluminum plate on the flange column and position the hole under the tap with one finger. This represents the type of picturing required with the Speedy Cut tapping machine. All we have to do is stop the part from rotating. Notice if we do miss the hole completely, the tap idles while the side clutch slips and the machine simply returns to the home position without breaking the tap or causing a wreck in an automatic machine. First, a flat piece of material representing the bottom of the hole and another piece of material representing the length of the thread and clearance, our gauge, are stacked and placed under the tap. Now, lower the machine until the tap brushes the top of the gauge plate. Loosen the reversing dog and remove the gauge block. Now, rotate the spindle until the tap touches the plate representing the bottom of the hole. Next, adjust the movable dog until it contacts the reversing micro switch and then tighten. Switch the machine on and the spindle will return to its home position. Now, cycle the machine to check the stroke. Adjust the height of the machine with the part and or fixture. Tap the hole and gauge the results. Some minor adjustment may be necessary. The repeatability of the stroke equals one-fifth of a tread pitch turn. Now this translates to an average of plus or minus four to six thousandths at the bottom of the stroke. Quality products are a result of Speedy Cut's unique positive gear drive that exerts no push or pull on the material being tapped. This is the most accurate pitch advancement system in our industry. Air or hydraulic driven machines do not have the built-in features to provide consistently accurate threads. Class 3 and 4 fits are no problem to the Speedy Cut tapping machine. 
Applications include all shapes of parts and all types of materials, stamped, die-cast, and machine parts for the automotive, electrical, plumbing, plastics, and instrument industries are successfully tapped on Speedy Cut machines. Speedy Cut will automate your parts with a simple fixture or build your company a complete turnkey piece of equipment. Various methods of feeding parts such as magazine loading, shuttle fixtures, and vibratory bowls are used to achieve ultra-high production yields. These machines have little or no downtime and will give your company consistently accurate, acceptable parts. The following footages were made possible with the consent of satisfied Speedy Cut customers using our machines and transfer lines, rotary table applications, and in conjunction with automatic grilling machines. The parts being tapped are stampings, die castings, and fittings related to the electrical, plumbing, and decorative hardware industries. The unique quality of these particular operations are that all of these machines have something important in common. They have all been in operation for multiple shifts for over 20 years. The following automatic machines have recently been installed for high production manufacturing in the electrical and automotive component OEM businesses. These machines are producing parts that meet the most demanding ISO thread requirements in their respective industries. Remember, precise and dependable. Speedy Cut tapping machines will give you part repeatability, accurate depth control, extended tap life, the desired thread gauge quality, quick setup, and low maintenance. We have bench, floor, and table models all available with the latest type of coolant systems. Whether you require a standard or a special machine, send us your parts and or prints and let's talk tapping.